Greetings to all pastors, theology students, and saints who are attending today's Shincheonji online seminar on the testimony of the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter. It is great to meet you all. My name is Park Chun Song, who will be the host for today's event. We are clearly testifying God's purpose will and the order of the history that is written in the Bible following the principles of 5 W's and 1 H through the Shincheonji online seminar that is happening now. I hope this will be a precious time where you will completely realize the secrets of the Kingdom of Heaven hidden in the Old Testament and the New through the word testified today. First, let us pray to Father God with one heart. Our gracious, thankful Father God, who is the source of life and blessings, we give you thanks for allowing us to hold the Shincheonji online seminar on the testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter. We give you thanks for leading us to life and for clearly opening the word of truth that we couldn't understand even though we wanted to by sending us the one pastor who deserved. We believe God, Jesus, and even the angels of the heavenly realm are with us at this time. Please visit all the souls who attended this seminar one by one and fully open the door of their heart and guide them so that all of them can come into this word. We pray in the name of Jesus who guided us from death to eternal life. Amen. Today, we will listen on the topic of the wedding banquet of the Lamb, the Lamb and the oil. Jesus gave us a parable about the kingdom of heaven like virgins marrying Jesus who becomes a bridegroom. If you place heaven and eternal life as a true purpose of life of faith, then you must know the true meaning of the wedding with Jesus, the Lamb, and when and where and what are the things that you must have. It will be clearly spoken of today. Then, let us have instructor Kang Chang-hun from Guri Church of Seoul James Tribe who will deliver today's word. To all the pastors, theology students, and saints around the world who have the hope of Kingdom of Heaven, greetings. I am Kang Chang-hun, the head instructor of Guri Church of Seoul James Tribe of Shincheonji Church of Jesus. We sincerely welcome you for being together with us through Shincheonji Online Seminar on the Testimony on the Revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter. Anyone who has the hope in the Kingdom of Heaven and Eternal Life, I believe they will have much interest towards today's topic. The title is Intermediate Level 11, The Wedding Banquet of the Lamb, the Lamb and the Oil. With the main reference, Matthew 25, we will also try to understand Matthew 22, Luke 14, and Revelation 19. There may be some pastors who know this content very well, and there may be those who don't. But please listen to the explanation once more today. And if you listen while thinking how this is different to what I normally know, then I believe your time will be better used. Before we go into the main content, I'll briefly introduce about the main chapter for today. What was recorded 2,000 years ago Today's key chapter, Matthew 25, it is a word of promise that will fulfill Revelation 19 after the events of Revelation 18 happen at the time of the second coming. Its key content is talking about the parable regarding who will enter the kingdom of heaven after Matthew 24's 
event of destruction in Jerusalem at the time of the second coming. The words of verse 1 to 13 use the custom of Israel's actual marriage at the time to figuratively speak of how a spiritual wedding of heaven will look like when it is fulfilled at the time of second coming. These words will be fulfilled with Revelation 19 at the time of the second coming and through the event of the physical fulfillment, Matthew 25, Matthew 22, Luke 14 can be testified together. Then first, let's read Matthew 25, 1-4 to together. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lambs but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lambs. Yes, when we read here, it is about the wise virgins who prepared their lambs and oil and are able to marry Jesus who comes as a bridegroom and enter into the kingdom of heaven, while the foolish virgins who did not prepare their lamps and oil properly were not able to marry Jesus and were not able to enter the kingdom of heaven and are sad about it. So we can know whether one can meet Jesus and enter the kingdom of heaven or not is dependent on whether the lamp and the oil are present. Everyone, do you know what the wedding with the lamp signifies? And where and when does this wedding take place? And also, have you all prepared the lamp and oil? Anyone who has the hope heaven and eternal life as a true purpose of faith must know today's main content. To help everyone to understand why today's content is important, I would like to share a story with you. Once upon a time, there were a couple, a young man and a young woman, who cherished and loved each other very much. As their love deepened, they promised to marry one another. After this, they went to their respective homes, and then the young man wrote a letter to the young woman to meet at a certain location at a specific time. Through the delivery man, this letter was delivered to the woman. But the thing was, she in fact did not know how to read. But the woman was embarrassed by the fact that she did not know how to read, so she did not ask for any help. Days went by, and the time the promised date proposed by the man was approaching, and the man went out to the promised location with high anticipation. However, the time went by, and even the night was approaching, the woman did not appear, and the man thought the woman did not want to marry him and eventually returned home heartbroken. As time went by, the woman became so curious about the letter sent by the man that despite her embarrassment, she went to the nearest person who can read to read the letter for her. After realizing the letter was about asking for her hand in marriage, the woman belatedly regretted and wept loudly. Now, how was it? It is such a sad story, isn't it? Everyone, 
What was the reason why these two people were not able to marry each other? The reason is that the woman could not understand the words written in the man's letter and she did not ask for any help because she felt too embarrassed. Just like the story I just told you, the New Testament Bible is like a letter of promise written by Jesus sent to us saying when and where to marry. Everyone, do you know where we should go and with what do we prepare to marry Jesus? Let's not be embarrassed for not knowing, but instead, learn from the person who knows. So from this time onwards, let's find out what we must do to go to the Lamb's wedding banquet of heaven and furthermore, what we must prepare. First, in order for us to understand this content, we must know what the Bible says about marriage. In the Bible, a physical marriage and a spiritual marriage are mentioned. And we must know that in today's main reference chapter is talking about the spiritual marriage figuratively spoken using the physical marriage as a parable. If a physical marriage is where the bridegroom and the bride become one, then the spiritual marriage means the spirit and the flesh become one. When the spirit descends on the flesh, they give birth to a child born from the seed of spirit, and with this, the spirit becomes the position of a bridegroom, and the flesh that becomes one with this spirit becomes the position of a bride. There are verses that mention about the spiritual marriage like this throughout the Bible, so among them, let's read Hosea 2, 19-20. I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you in righteousness and justice, in love and compassion. I will betroth you in faithfulness, and you will acknowledge the Lord. As it says, God who is spirit will be betrothed, God becomes a bridegroom. And in Jeremiah 31, 31-32, it is said that God, as a bridegroom, will become a husband to them, the chosen people whom He has made a covenant with. Just like how the bridegroom comes to the bride and give his seed to give birth to a child, it is said God, has his children born of the seed of the word in Luke 8, 11. In Galatians 4, verse 19, Apostle Paul calls his congregation members his children and have formed them with the pains of childbirth. From seeing these, we can easily understand that the woman figuratively means the pastor who receives God's seed, God's word, and teach it to the congregation members and make them God's children. Even in the past, at the time of the first coming, there was a wedding banquet of heaven where the spirit and flesh becomes one. So let's first understand what happened at the time of the first coming. At the time of the first coming, God's Spirit comes down to Jesus in John 1.32, and for He was in Jesus' flesh. Therefore, in John 2 verse 19, it is said the body of Jesus was the temple of God. Therefore, because the Spirit of God that dwelled in Jesus' body and Jesus' spirit became one. In John 10, verse 30, Jesus says, I and the Father are one. 
And this is the event at the time of the first coming, which fulfills the words of Hosea 2, 19-20, where God said, He will be thought, and with that, God's Spirit and Jesus, who had a physical body, was one. In this spiritual wedding, God was a bridegroom, and Jesus was a bride. After this, since Jesus who ascended to the heavens was no longer in flesh, then wouldn't the Spirit of Jesus become the bridegroom and wouldn't there be a flesh who will become the bride at the time of the second coming? That is why at the time of the second coming, the saints who will become one with Jesus' Spirit was spoken figuratively as the virgins who will greet their bridegroom. However, just because the saints vaguely dream of getting married with Jesus, not all saints will greet Jesus as a bridegroom. Only those who prepare the lamp and oil and wear the wedding clothes like the wise virgins are able to greet Jesus as a bridegroom when he returns. People who have hope of heaven and eternal life for their life of faith actually don't know where and when the wedding banquet of the Lamb will be held or what needs to be prepared in advance, then how are they different from the woman who doesn't know how to read in the story mentioned before? Now, at the time of the Lord's second coming, when the purpose of our life of faith can be fulfilled, I will explain where and when the wedding banquet of the Lamb will be held and one needs to be prepared in detail, so please listen carefully. At the Lord's second coming, the time when wedding banquet of the Lamb will happen is after this, as written in Revelation 19 verse 1 happens. For it is written after this in Revelation 19 verse 1, we can know that, in other words, it is after Revelation 18 where Babylon is judged and when Revelation 19 is fulfilled. The location is where the Lamb stands, which is Mount Zion, Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony. If the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony, accordingly to the prophecies of Revelation, appear, it is said, the heavenly marriage of the Spirit and the flesh becoming one will be held there. The spirits that gather to this Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony will become the bridegroom, and the saints who are the flesh gathered will be the bride. The Spirit of Jesus when we see Revelation 19, 17 and Revelation 20, 4 to 6, the birds in mid-air called out by an angel are figuratively speaking of the martyr souls. The brides are the pastor promised in the New Testament, the one who overcomes. And also the saints of the twelve tribes who are harvested and sealed in Revelation 7, Revelation 14, and Revelation 20, 4 to 6. It is said, the saints of the twelve tribes gathered at the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony where the wedding banquet of the Lamb is held are blessed. Aren't you curious? Of how are they blessed? We will read Revelation 20, verse 4 to 6 regarding their blessing. I saw thrones on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge, and I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony for Jesus and because of the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received his mark on their foreheads or their hands. 
They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who have part in the first resurrection. The second death has no power over them, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with Him for a thousand years. Yes, the saints of the twelve tribes gather at Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony, where the wedding banquet of the Lamb is held, will enter the first resurrection with their flesh becoming one with the Spirit through a marriage. First resurrection is where there is no more death, and rather, it is an amazing blessing promised by heaven to receive the kingdom of heaven and eternal life and reign with Christ for a thousand years. In order to participate in this first resurrection, one must come to Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, where the wedding banquet of the Lamb is held. If you are a true believer who has hope in the kingdom of heaven and eternal life, you will certainly come to this place. The saints who belong to this four tribes are the reality of the wise virgins and have their lamps and oil prepared, wearing the wedding clothes, and participate in the wedding banquet of heaven. Lamb, one of the conditions to keep as a lamb's bride, when we see the words of Psalms 119 verse 105, is God's word. In other words, it is the Bible. And the oil that we must put in the lamp is as we see that the witness who gives the testimony of the fulfilled realities as the olive tree in Revelation 11 verse 4, the olive oil that comes from the olive tree is the word of testimony that comes from the witness. Therefore, the wise virgins are the saints who have received the words of the new covenant revelation and the testimony of their fulfilled realities realized and engraved into their hearts. While the foolish virgins, although they do have the Bible, but have not received the testimony on the fulfilled realities and are the ignorant believers. Now, let us read Matthew 22, 11-13, which talks about the wedding clothes that must be worn in the wedding banquet of the Lamb. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. Friend, he asked, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? The man was speechless. Then the king told the attendants, tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Even if one has received an invitation to the wedding banquet of heaven, if they do not wear the wedding clothes, then they are kicked out. For it says that what the saints need to prepare is not just the lamp and oil, but also the wedding clothes. I hope we can know of this. The reality of the wedding clothes is the righteous acts of the saints. We can know this through Revelation 19, verse 8. The righteous act here means to wash one's heart and actions and doctrine with the word coming from the spring of the water of life flowing from the throne of God and Jesus and becoming clean. Cleaning the doctrine means to abandon Babylon's wine of adultery and instead realize the new covenant given by Jesus, which is the words of revelation and carrying out according to its word. Everyone, the pastors, theology students, and saints all around the world who are listening to today's online seminar, do you know the words of the New Testament revelation and are you keeping it? 
Have you seen the realities that appeared according to the promises of Revelation and testified about it? All the saints in Shincheonji 12 tribes have received the testimony on Revelation and its physical fulfillment through the promised pastor of the New Testament and fill their lamps with oil like the wise virgins. They have not added to or taken away from the word of the New Testament revelation and are carrying it out and also have worn the wedding clothes. I really hope we will all open the door to our hearts see it with our eyes, listen with our ears, realize and become God's heavenly family. I pray in the name of the Lord. Next, I will talk about the signs that Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, is the house of the wedding banquet of the Lamb. We'll read the relevant verse, Matthew 22, verse 4 together. Then he sent some more servants and said, Tell those who have been invited that I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and fattened cattle have been butchered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. If we summarize this content, God, the King, holds a banquet for His Son, Jesus, to be betrothed and have prepared dinner. In other words, the food for the guest that is said to be his oxen and fattened cattle. Then, if a place is said to be the house holding the wedding banquet of the Lamb, then there must be such food prepared. Has everyone eaten the meat of God's oxen and fattened cattle? The saints of Shincheonji 12 tribes have gorged themselves on it. The oxen are figuratively describing the pastor and the task-given workers, and in Revelation 13, the pastors of the tabernacle of chosen people who worshipped the beast and received its mark, the reality of the oxen that was butchered and captured is the betrayers of Revelation 13. The fattened cattle are the destroyers who devour the sheep-like chosen people in Revelation 17 and 18. Providing the meat means providing the evidence or testimony on who these people are and eating and gorging on it means to realize and to be satisfied with it. Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, is testifying the physical reality of the betrayer and destroyer, and this becomes a proof that Shincheonji is a place of the wedding banquet of the Lamb. And the reason why the only place on this earth that can testify the prophecies of the entire revelation and its fulfilled physical reality is Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. It is because Jesus fulfilled revelation and shown the promised pastor of the New Testament who have heard and seen at the location of the fulfillment, and this pastor is at Shincheonji. However, even though everything has been prepared, and even the testimony of the reality of Revelation has been given to them, it's been told in advance there are people who do not come to this wedding banquet of the Lamb. Who is the reality of these people who rejected the invitation even though it is from God and Jesus. Let's read the related content, Luke 14, 21-24. The servant came back and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and ordered his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. Sir, the servant said, What you ordered has been done, but there is still room. Then the master told his servant, Go out to the roads and country lanes and make them come in, so that my house will be full. I tell you, not one of those men who were invited will get a taste of my banquet. 
Yes, it is said, even though they received the invitation to the wedding banquet of heaven, they reject it and do not get a taste of God's banquet. It is said, these people are the subjects of the kingdom who are thrown out in Matthew 8, verse 12, and the reality of them is that they are the people of the traditional churches that come to an end by not being harvested in Revelation 6. Although they have the Lamb, the Bible, they do not receive the word of testimony on the physical fulfillment and are the foolish virgins and only say Lord, Lord with their mouth but do not keep the new covenant revelation and end up becoming the habitual believer not wearing the wedding clothes. So they are kicked out. On the contrary, there are those who take their places in God's kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. In Matthew 8 verse 11, there are those who come from the east and the west and take their places, and as explained before, they'll be the saints of harvested, sealed, saints of the twelve tribes of Revelation 7. Likewise, there will be the separation between the people who participate in the wedding banquet of the Lamb and those who do not. The Bible records about these people who do not marry with the Lamb, but they are the ones who marry with the devil instead. That is why, next, we will look into the marriage with the devil at the second coming. The marriage to the devil at the time of the Lord's second coming is well recorded in Revelation 18. The location will be at the dwelling of the devil, Babylon. Even at this Babylon, there are the spirits and flesh that are gathered. The gathered spirits become the bridegroom, and the reality of them is the spirit of the devil as we see in Revelation 18, verse 2. Furthermore, the gathered flesh becomes the bride, and the reality of them is the devil's pastor and the churchgoers of all nations who belong to Babylon in Revelation 18, verse 2. They have eaten the food of the devil, the maddening wine of adultery, and they've all fallen. This is like Daniel 4, verse 20 to 22, where the Babylonian king, King Nebuchadnezzar, in the past was figuratively spoken of as the large tree, and there are birds nesting on its branches, and the wild animals sheltered by it. It means all people of the world has eaten the fruit of this tree. Then what did Jesus say about the pastors and congregation members of all nations today at the time of the Lord's second coming in advance in Revelation? It is said, they do not marry with the lamb, but commit adultery and even marry with the devil. It is a very serious and shocking content. What is the physical fulfillment of the food, the wine of adultery that is eaten at the marrying with the devil? The maddening wine of adultery is the fruit of the knowledge of the good and evil that must not be eaten. The reality of this is commentaries. Since it is said that all nations have drunken these commentaries, which are the devil's food, wouldn't that mean, everyone, we also belong to all nations? Currently, people are arbitrarily making their own denomination and doctrine and preaching, teaching the congregation members with their commentaries. These words of Revelation 18 are being fulfilled in the churches of the world today. Truly, if you have realized of this fact, 
Quickly repent and come towards God's word again. The place God's people must be at is where the wedding banquet of the Lamb is held. It is Shincheonji, 12 tribes, and not Babylon, where there is a marriage with the devil. God, Jesus, and the Bible, we must become one. Everyone, who are you according to the Bible? Are you the ones who marry with the devil in Revelation 18? Or are you those who marry with the Lamb in Revelation 19? We must base our faith on the words of the Bible and evaluate it with the Bible. It is a serious matter which determines the kingdom of heaven or hell. I pray in the name of the Lord that all pastors, theology students, and saints will belong to Shincheonji, 12 tribes, where the wedding banquet of the Lamb is held and receive the blessing of the kingdom of heaven and eternal life by participating in the first resurrection. Now, I will organize and summarize today's content in our table form. Revelation 18 records about the marriage with the devil and the location is the dwelling place of the devil, Babylon. The bridegroom is the spirit of the devil and the bride is the devil's pastors and churchgoers of all nations. The food that is eaten at that place is the wedding maddening wine of adultery, the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, in other words, commentaries. On the contrary, Revelation 19 records about the wedding with the Lamb and it will be the location where the content of Matthew 25, today's reference verse, is fulfilled. This location is Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, and at this place, the bridegroom is the spirit of Jesus and also the martyr souls. The bride is a promised pastor of the New Testament, the one overcomes, and the harvested and sealed saints of the twelve tribes who believe and follow the words delivered by the one overcomes. The food eaten at this place is God's oxen and fattened cattle, which is a word of testimony about the physical reality of the betrayer and destroyer. Now, I will deliver the conclusion. The wedding banquet of the kingdom of heaven that is written in parables of Matthew 25 is fulfilled today like Revelation 19, and people of all nations are being invited to the location of this banquet which is Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. Just like the words of Luke 14, those who reject the invitation to the wedding banquet of heaven are thrown out into the darkness and receive judgment in the end. Those who receive the invitation and belong to the Shincheonji 12 tribes become one in spirit and flesh in heaven just like Revelation 20, verse 4 to 6, participate in the first resurrection and receive the blessings of heaven and eternal life. I really hope everyone listening to this Shincheonji online seminar today will receive the blessings of heaven and eternal life. Next time, the intermediate lesson number 12 will be taught by an instructor who teaches much better than me. I hope you eagerly look forward towards the next lesson. Finally, with the meaning of being one in God and Jesus, we end by chanting, we are one and finish. Transcending race, nation, and religion, we are one in God, we are one. Let us pray together. Our most thankful Father God, through the words of the true meaning of the heavenly wedding banquet of the Lamb, and the Lamb 
and the oil and the wedding clothes that we must be prepared with, we give you all thanks. Just like the words of Matthew 25, please allow all people of heavens and earth who have heard this word to be gathered at Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, to be wed with the Lamb. And please help them to become the wise virgins who have prepared the lamp, oil, and wedding clothes and become part of God's family in the kingdom of heaven as a people of the twelve tribes. We believe that we are able to receive the testimony on the prophecy of the New Testament and its fulfilled entities because there is Jesus' messenger, the promised pastor, the one who overcomes today. Please help all mankind to receive the word of the testimony testified by the promised pastor. Please help them and guide them so that they can believe. Please guide every remaining steps with your grace and please help this precious word of life to enter in everyone without missing a moment. We give you all thanks, and we pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for watching until the end. What we as believers must know is that God and Jesus always certainly fulfill the promise, then we as believers must also keep the new covenant. Then we must know the content of the new covenant in order to believe and keep this new covenant when it is fulfilled. Yes, next time, the seminar will be run with the topic, The New Covenant Established with the Blood of Jesus. The time will be same as today, 10 a.m., so that I hope that you will all attend real life and fulfill the hope of Kingdom Heaven and Eternal Life. Jincheonji Online Seminar, the testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter, is being broadcasted live on Jincheonji official YouTube channel in 24 languages at the same time. While hoping every nation and every church's denominations can become one together with Shincheonji, we also hear many great news that are coming from all around the world. In addition to what you heard today, if you have any questions or curiosities about Shincheonji Church of Jesus and its doctrines, please contact the number of each tribe that you see on the screen. We'll try our best to inform you as accurately and kindly as possible. Then, by giving the Lord's Prayer, we will complete all orders of Shincheonji Online Seminar today. Let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever. Amen. Everyone who has been with us, thank you so much.